What, you know, when it comes to, I like comparing food to music. What, what do you think about this idea that like, you know, you were describing the food about the food truck earlier about it's just fresh and simple and they, you know, mm-hmm. right, bring it, that preparation. Is, do you feel like, do you approach music that same way? It just needs to be fresh and simple and you'll get sort of the best thing. You know what I mean? Like food's all about sourcing the right ingredients. Yeah. What is it about music that makes it good? Is it, you know, how do we compare sourcing the right ingredients to music? Like what what's the correlation there? I would say individuality. Um, okay. It's kind of like, like what you're saying. Um Rudy's and Taco Bell are not that different because they use the same ingredients or they at least use the same supplier. Like maybe yeah. the individual ingredients of Taco Bell are not literally the same, but they're all provided by like Cisco. Sure. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, uh, so while Taco Bell makes me sick and Rudy's doesn't, it still all comes from the same like umbrella. And um, so like when people try to make music because they want, to be popular or because they want other people to like it and so they're weird like because this is all subjective by the way so like and it's all intangible like when you make music it's not like something that they're eating and tasting it's it's completely intangible and so like um when people are like i am going to sound like the popular person these days and that i'm going to do well in music it's like that's not tangible you you can't even you can't even pinpoint why each individual person is successful to the point where, where you can copy them. Like you just can't. And so when people try, it's like this sterile, like it's like staying in a hotel versus staying in an Airbnb or something, or like eating out at an okay restaurant or a pretty good restaurant, or maybe a chain versus like getting a home goods meal by someone who really knows how to cook. Yeah. It's like it's an impossible thing to describe. But when I hear music that was not made from the individual, from within the individual, um, it's instant. It's like literally two, three seconds. I'm like, are you making this face? Yeah. You yeah. know, like like I'm smelling a bad ingredient or something. Or like sure. I'm smelling a sterile cleaning supply that like I know is an other terrible restaurants like you said you know too much (laughs) yeah like you walk in you smell the soap you're like oh yeah yeah i can be uh, i can be a pain in the ass to go out to eat with sometimes yeah yeah like you you walk in and you just like know by the types of napkins they're using you're like exactly exactly yes you get it you get it that's exactly right so like when i when i when someone starts hey listen to my music or or check out this new person i found and they press play Within three seconds, I'm either going to notice something and be like, oh, yeah, or I'm going to be like, I've never heard this. this before. Yeah, that's cool. Wow. You know, that's really cool. That is that is really cool. I bet you get that a lot. Right. People sending you music. Check this out. Listen to this. Can you get me started? Do, does that happen a lot with you? Do people <laughs> yeah. like try, want you to get them started somehow? Think. Yeah. I like. <laughs> What the hell do you, who do you think I am? Like, <laughs> do you think I am? Because this is who I think I am. And we're going to talk about my perception of myself. Yeah. I am a person who has had the privilege to develop a skill. Um, that skill happens to be something that can be enjoyed by other people. I have now designed that skill, which is something I'm passionate about, because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to pursue it the way I did. So the skill that I'm passionate about, I have monetized by presenting it to people in such a way that they feel entertained. And so what they are paying for is not, in fact, my music. They're actually paying for the entertainment. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, I never heard it put that way. That's great. Entertainment is really valuable. You know, like people are like, oh, money always ruins music. I'm like, not if you not if you stay rooted in who you are. And not if you find something that you feel like is a part of you, but that is also entertaining. I've seen all sorts of stuff that's entertaining. <laughs> doesn't have to yeah. be music. Doesn't have that's to be songs. Point. Doesn't have to be singing. It, it, I've seen people get up and just do drum beats and just play the drums. And that's entertaining. And they go on tour and they didn't have to write lyrics or do any of that. You know, they just found a way to be entertaining, rooted in something that they're that's unique about them. 
And uh, that's what's monetized, not the music, not the passion, not the love for it. What's monetized is the uh, the entertainment aspect of it. I mean, you kind of have to make money, right, to keep doing it. I don't see yes. it. how else. Well, because earlier happens. I said I am a person who had the privilege to spend my entire life developing a skill. That is a privilege. Um, you know, my sister told me a long time ago that art is a privilege, and she's right. Blew my mind. I'm like. It is. You're right. Art is a well, privilege. Th- think about if you're poor, you're str- you're working three jobs, you're trying to get, you don't have time to worry about art. What does art mean to you? You know what I mean? What does art so, mean to you if you're malnourished? Exactly. I agree like, with that. Art is a what, privilege. Are you going to spend money on a guitar or are you going to spend money on feeding your kids? Yes. You're not even going to have the thought of a guitar. You know what I mean? Like, you're not, that's not even going to cross your mind. Uh, you're stoked to have a day off that week. Exactly. <laughs> Yes, One absolutely. And that's the life that's life for a lot of people. And um, so what I'm saying your, is your sister's a smart person. Yeah. Art is a privilege. And I see myself as a person who was privileged enough to pursue art as a living. And now I don't see myself as this like figure. Um, I see myself as this person who offers a service. And sometimes I need to get paid for the service, but sometimes I donate the service. You know, I'll do live streams for free. Um, I don't do gigs for free, but that's because it costs money to do gigs. You know, I have to pay people (laughs) to help me do the gig. I have to pay a sound man, I have to pay the band, you know. Yeah. Like the only time I start charging money is when it starts costing me money. It's out of pocket stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That 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 makes total sense. So that's how I'm able to share my art so freely on the internet because that's that's kind of like my contribution for the privilege that I've had to pursue it in the first place. I see. Wow. 